The Washington Post's latest story on the impact of the AR-15 in American culture drew a massive response from readers. Below is a selection of those comments, which have not been edited. They appear with subscribers chosen online user names. As hard as it was to make my way through this, I needed to do so. I can admit to becoming more and more numb as these shootings keep happening. Much like the lack of coverage of war casualties, we need to see this. We can never experience what the victims have, but we need to see this and start pressing for action now. I fully support the Washington Post publishing this piece. I have no reservations about it and would like to see the nation rid itself of the Arkansas 15. That said, the absence of the bodies from the pictures renders the whole thing sort of saccharine and abstract. Contrast these pictures with what we are seeing in our media nightly from Gaza. The videos of the wounded children in the hospitals, the devastation everywhere, the never-ending misery. Those pictures are much more penetrating than the pictures of walls with bullet holes. I'm afraid that our population is so numbed by all these stories that they will be underwhelmed by this article. I really am sorry to have to say this because I welcome and encourage outlets like The Post to tell this story and to tell it often. But I think the full impact of the carnage needs to be shown to people. The article is hyperbole, AR-15s and the provocative articles are a sideshow. Focus on the 18,000 murders by handguns. Don't get lost in the provocative articles like this that are totally misleading. This is what it takes. It took TV bringing live newsreels into our homes to help stop the Vietnam War. And it'll take our seeing the blood and broken bodies of our friends and children to help stop this carnage. We can do this. Let's do it. I think this was a very important story, but if anything, it didn't go far enough. I think we should be seeing blown apart bodies on the floors to really comprehend the absolute horror of these murders. Seeing a cute 10 year old school picture next to a picture of his, her little ruined body might finally make people howl in outrage in numbers that can change things. These weapons are made for one thing killing people, and as quickly as possible. Keep your dang deer rifle, and let's get weapons of war off our streets. These images should be plastered on TV's billboards and computers on startup. You would hear an immediate clamor to do something about it. I pray for anyone affected by the shootings named. I hope they don't see or read this article. This is why my youngest cannot attend high school in person. She has relentless panic attacks at school. We've had to move her to online schooling at home. Her first actual lockdown, not a drill, happened in kindergarten, less than a year after Sandy Hook. I'm shaking from reading the accounts and seeing the debris of a slaughter. This should be seen.